today we're going to be testing out some root beers. I haven't had some in six months, so <laughs> if I relapse, paying for my soda for the rest of the year. <laughs> if you ever want to know what this tastes like, you can lick your grandma's foot. <laughs> it smells bad. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of like a rubbing alcohol aftertaste on that. Rubbing alcohol. Imagine you broke into your grandma's gin cabinet. It got like the worst fucking gin in her cabinet and then poured a really watered down root beer. Right. I don't know why. I think I'm drinking it because it's here. So you're older than this company. Days this gone by. Yeah, you know, 11 years ago. My, that, oh, yeah, back yeah. in my day. <laughs> This one is Zuba Fizz. Zuba Fizz. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the drinks from Fallout that's in the game. Pure cane sugar. So we'll see if Ashley likes it. Since it's creamy. Classic the, draft right. soda. Read the side of it. Quality over quantity since 2002. We take pride in this manufacturing process. Ingredients and packaging we use at Durango Soda Company Incorporation. Each batch is handcrafted in small quantities with fresh rocky mountain water from the San Juan. We choose to use pure cane sugar rather than high fructose corn syrup and avoid harsh chemicals. Our finished product is then transferred to glass bottles a superior container to aluminum or plastic for taste, your health, and the environment. So twist one off and drink it down. It's the real deal. So this drink is one year younger than you. And it's from Colorado. The real what deal. is the name of the drink in Fallout? Can you tell me? Nuka Cola. Nuka Cola. Mm -hmm. And then there's Quantum. Oh, no, and then there's Nuka Cola Cherry. You can't do it. Is that what it looks like? No, it's not a twist. No, it looks That is like... not an easy twist. Yeah, that's a lot. That is painful and I don't want to do it. Doesn't have a lot of foam. It dissipates really quickly. It smells old. It does smell old. Old? It smells old to you? Like old bad or like old timey? Like old timey. Old timey. <laughs> Slink! I just can't remember what root beer I'm thinking of that is just like rich and dark and good and I want more of it. No. It doesn't taste creamy to me. Pour me a little more. You always give me so little I don't. Relapse. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, seriously. It happened. I'm gonna have a big bill. It's not bad. It's not. I feel like it's more vanilla. I like it better than the last one. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Too. I'm just missing something. I don't, I'm not happy about it. I'm not sad about it. I feel like it should be more. I would go, ooh, this is a cool bottle and I should drink it. Yeah, that's true. That's about it. Bottle. Out of all the bottles, that's the one I like so far. When they say twist one off, I'm not thinking about root beer. <laughs> I like the smell of it. it. Smells good. It smells good. Yeah. But most of them did smell good. That's true. Before they were horrified. Yeah, the smell is going to be the same. Uh, too sweet, but other than that, it's okay. I think that's a common problem with most of these. Yeah, they're trying really hard to be really sweet. Yeah, like, I get it. It's cane sugar. Mm -hmm. Don't overdo it. Yeah, we're gonna have diabetes by the time the night's over. Don't like it. Tastes like sugar. Um, there's not really that whole root beer taste. Also, it's called Zuber Fizz, but... It's not fizzy. <laughs> not very fizzy for something called Zuber. It's got fizz right in the freaking title there. And, uh, yeah. I keep drinking it because it's there, again. Right. During Prohibition times, Burgoff offered a draft style soft drink known as Burgo, which tasted very similar to root beer. When Prohibition ended, Burgoff kept the Burgo tradition alive by introducing the root beer soda. For over 75 years, Burgoff has offered their root beer in bottle form with a cream style taste reminiscent of the first half of the 20th century. This is any root beer enthusiast's dream. Pretty big, big claim there. That's a big claim for such a small bottle. So nice. See, that's what Zuber Fizz should look like. Exactly like yeah. that. <laughs> Don't like the smell. The smell, it smells dusty almost. Almost like it was like it actually in a barrel. Actually, I'm okay with this one. 
I'm actually not. You're not? I'm not, because I like to be a little stronger, but it's, do it's not overpowering in the sweetness. Like, like try, try holding it in your mouth a little bit, because I'm... Like, it's almost like when you get like a whiff of someone's stench of not wearing deodorant, but in your mouth. What are you trying to say, Warren? That's what you're saying, this tastes like an armpit. Yes. <laughs> Sweaty, stanky armpit. It smells d dirty, like physically dirty. Like it smells like when you go up in the attic. Oh, oh yeah, like, like, like you get, yeah. get all that dust in your, yeah, yeah, yeah it is like that. The aftertaste is a little dusty too. Still tastes like a <laughs> sticky armpit. <laughs> what kind of sugar does this one have? Ugh. I don't think I like cane sugar. Caffeine free, naturally to you. I mean, I like cane sugar in my tea when I get to stir it in. It takes 10 years to do it, but it's good. Do we have gluten at least? No, it's gluten. Smells like an addict. It does smell. Yeah, when you. Just, just. Dude. Yeah, it's old. It smells like dirt. Mm. Uh, it's like an old dusty sock. Uh, uh, in liquid form. It'll burnt. Sounds like if you were to name a dog, you'll filbert. <laughs> <laughs> here, filbert. Come here, Bill. <laughs> it says since 1926 on the front of the bottle. There's a barrel. It's from Chicago, Illinois. This one has high fructose syrup, oh, which makes yeah! me kind of feel excited. I don't know why. I'm not saying that I need it. I'm just saying it doesn't taste good without it right now. Philbert's old time quality root beer. This is another story of a man taking his family's root beer recipe and making business out of it. Charlie Philbert came up with a draft style root beer soda in Chicago and sold it during Prohibition. Fast forward 90 years and Ron Gilbert runs the So this one is like almost genuinely, well not almost, it's pretty much genuinely an old root beer. Yeah. What is that face? Does it smell bad? I don't know, but the foam is still- <laughs> <laughs> It smells awful! <laughs> And the vinegar. Hard boiled egg and vinegar. It does. Ew. It does. That's I don't want to smell it anymore. I know me either, but I do at the same time. Right. Like if we're smelling it, we're not drinking it. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Come on, Kelsey. Ooh. Okay, one last light. One last smell. <laughs> <laughs> Does it make me want to drink no. it? No. Philbert's old time quality draft root beer. The one, the one contradiction I see about this because um, it, the company has actually been producing root beer since 1926. Right. But I doubt they were producing it with high fructose corn syrup back then. No. no so at some not. point the recipe yeah, has they, changed. They changed it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they probably thought this made it taste better, or they barreled it since 19. 26. And then added fruit. And then fruit added fruit. it afterwards. Let's sniff. Oh. What? It smells like a rotten egg. It does smell like a rotten <laughs> egg. It really oh does. God. It does have that vinegary smell too. Like oh that. my god. It smells like a <laughs> fart. It smells like a rotten egg fart. Oh, so. I don't want to taste this. <laughs> Is it making your eyes water? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Alright. 
You ready? Yeah, I'm ready for this. Alright. Oh my god! Ah. I actually swallowed it. <laughs> oh! I actually swallowed it. <coughs> this tastes like you took your Easter egg dye and drank it. Yeah, yeah, it does. I'm, I'm gonna go for a second drink, only because the first drink wasn't wasn't. Um... Okay, we'll see who can hold it in their mouth the longest. Okay, we, I got this. All right. Chest, your ass, and any girl she wants. Fuck you, Philbert. You should be put in jail. Once we arrived, we settled in, and I began cooking. Cooking Thanksgiving dinner with the family. <laughs> <laughs> After dinner, we watched a movie and then went to bed. The cabin was fantastic. It's situated in such a way that it's nicely tucked into the woods fairly secluded without being too far away from civilization. So it's the next morning, uh, we don't actually have to be out until about 11 o'clock, but I'm uh, packing anyway. Got my bag here. Uh, you guys may recognize this from the uh, Southern California Retro Video Game Expo that I went to earlier this year. Uh, that's the bag I got.